guys, this is Chibi Scabbin here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, in the last part, we just did some core content, but we did get a shrine on our charted area, which is way over there. So yeah, in this part, I'm gonna do more core hunting, but in the meantime, we're just gonna possibly probably head over here, just to get some other cores along the way. Um, I wanna get as much done as I can, because I really wanna head for that tower that's over there in the distance, because that one has my favorite mini game to do to grind for some rupees so yeah um i know there's a croc over here but i want to head for this one first since it's the tallest so might as well all right um question is where is this croc i don't remember oh god wind gust uh maybe at the oh geez <laughs> that was a hard hit right there is that at the top of this thing no it isn't it's somewhere over here can't remember where Officially, might be hidden in this rock. So yeah, <laughs> just pretty much just core hunting yet again. Oh, hey, treasure chest. And yahahas. Too many yahahas. Okay, this time I was nice to that core and I put it at the top of the treasure chest. And we have topaz. Not too bad. I kind of need to get some more topazes. Uh, we could head over there too. Uh. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll head for that one next. We'll head for this one next. This is kind of close by. I really don't know where this one's located. I think it's on the diving platform, I want to say. Is there a Lizapples down there? I can't really tell. Actually, there is a diving platform over there. I could probably climb for that. I want the wind gust to, to carry me. That'd be nice, but... Oh, jeez. Unless, if it is a... A lily path thing that I could just probably jump to it, maybe. If not, then I might drown and... No, this is not a big enough splash, so I need to get up a little higher. Hopefully, thankfully it doesn't rain, so that's a good thing. And I think I can probably get this one without using the dying platform, so you know what? Uh, just jump. There we go, that counts. <laughs> that counts. But I think I might just have to warp out of here, just so I can, you know get back into whatever I'm doing. Yeah, I'm just gonna warp back and we'll probably have for this one. So, see you guys in a bit. I just noticed that we still need to visit Akala, or at least Robbie, because Puda told us to visit Robbie and Akala. So maybe after that tower over there in that region, probably just head to Akala, because it is, it's not like related to the Divine Beast, but it is kind of story related. Well, okay. Not technically story related, but in the, one of the important NPCs that we should meet. And plus, um, there's going to be a important treasure chest that I kind of want to get. That would be very helpful for, for us for later on, so I kind of want to get that. So maybe we might head to Akala, um, not after the reader region, but after like the next tower that we're going to head to, which is over there somewhere. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, let's just... Put this here. This is an obvious one. It's just one of the corners here. If I can make it fit. Uh, get in there. If you so please, I hate doing these rock or block puzzle things. Anyway, yahaha. Ha. So, good thing is that Revolve's Gale is almost charged up, so we should be getting Revolve's Gale at any moment now. So, yay! Alright, uh, let's just head just toward this area. So thankfully we'll give Revolve's Gale charged up. His of all the champions charged up. I mean guys probably seem it's probably seem obvious, but we'll probably get the other champions' powers. So you guys kinda get the idea of what our reward is when we fight a divine beast. So yeah. Okay, let's just keep climbing, get more Koroks. There is another core by the tower, but I'll get that one later. And with Raleigh's gear, should be charged up any moment now. How many minutes does he have left? Four seconds, okay. Raleigh's gale is now ready. Alright, so every time you hear Raleigh's gale is ready, that means we can use Raleigh's gale yet again. So you're gonna hear that constantly because as much as I hate Rivali, uh his power is very useful, so you're gonna hear that a lot. <laughs> So, have fun hearing Rivali a lot. If you happen to be a fan of Rivali, well, there you go. Alright, so anyways, 
Um, this is actually an area I kind of want to head to because there is actually something not important but it's something interesting. Also, I kind of want to change my armor because, you know, protection. And yeah, I'll just change to that. Why not? <laughs> just change the hiding gear for now. Alright, so if we go over here, um, I think there is a name of an area of this place. There should be a name popping up and oh, I kind of want to get those. I kind of want to get those. I kind of want to get those, please. Oh, well, I don't have really the stamina for this. I want those flowers. Those flowers are actually very important. I kind of want to get them. Oh my god, Link, you climb so slow. Uh, you know what? Oh, I just get the climbing gear. Just to save some time. Alrighty, let's just keep on climbing. There's a restroom over there. I kind of want to get that too. Alright. Okay, let's just kind of walk a bit. Cover some stamina. Yeah, you're gonna need the mushrooms and the the swift flowers for later on, especially for swift flowers, because they're gonna be important for upgrading uh, the climbing gear later on. Once we find more gray fairies, yes, there are more gray fairies um, in this game, so it's not really surprising. So yeah. Alrighty, uh, let's see. Let's head over here and shoot. It's almost noon. Um, I might wanna. Try go after the shrine quest. Maybe if not, then I could just do it later on at the end of this episode, possibly. Oh, grab those. Okay, good. I was afraid that he's gonna hit it and I will get electrocuted, which will be bad. All right. Um. Anyways, um, I need to find the rock. I believe it goes in the center, if I'm not mistaken. Um. I need to find a rock, which is. Thankfully enough, right over here. I think we had to put it in the center, if I'm not mistaken. Because I don't see any other sloth to put it in. So, I guess the center it is. Yep, I was right. Okay, good. Because I didn't see any open sloths out on the outside rings. Yeah! Alrighty. Got that out of the way. Um, let's head actually to our next crater. So, and by the way, I'm going to switch my gear because there is, if you might guess it, there is a stone talus nearby, which I believe is in this area. Yep, that's the stone talus. Also, we're in the Gisa, the Gisa, Gisa um, crater. All right, so let's just go over here and activate the stone talus. And that wolf might as well just run because he's gonna get pummeled by this stone talus. And thankfully, we have um, upgraded uh, bomb rooms that way we can use bomb more. Alright, sweet swinging. Got you. Alright. Keep swinging. And I need more sledgehammers. Um, let's get my... Nice claymore and ouch. Nope, climb, 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 climb. Ah, I have one more. I have one more health to get rid of left. Come on. And this should be it. And there we go. Get some ores along the way. Get a ruby. Awesome. And he's defeated. And get lots of ambers too. Really great for selling. And a diamond. Awesome. Alright, so there's another stone tower down. Okay. Uh, let's just head down here. There's a bunch of trees around here. So I might as well head for those. And I need to make more food because... <laughs> I'm kind of lacking in food for now. Like, most of my food is just, you know, defensive stuff or um, stamina refilling things. Which, honestly, I don't really need stamina refilling things anymore. I mean, they're still good for healing regardless, but I could use something else. Also, I need a, a new sledgehammer now. So, I need to get myself a new sledgehammer later on. Alright, so, anyways, we have a metal chain ball here. Let's put this in. And there we go. Alright, uh, it's probably past noon, but, uh, oh well. Actually, do I still have time to do that? Well, I mean, regardless, I can always change the time of the day, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, there's one down there. Let's just head down this way. Because I do want to get these Korok Huntings out of the way, so that way we have more time to do other things and at least go to the next area. Because I don't want to spend too much time on Korok Hunting as much uh, as I'm addicted to it. I want to say I'm addicted to it, just I like to 100% a lot of things, and Croc hunting, unfortunately, is one of them. Kill you off, because you're going to be an annoyance. 
Did I even get this Korok? There's one Korok around here. Maybe it's a different one. Okay, there's one nearby, unless this is... Is this a Korok that I already got already? Maybe. I don't remember. I'm kind of close by to it. Oh, no, it isn't. Okay. <laughs> Thankfully, I checked. Because I thought it was the the one with the hole, the rock hole in there, but no, it isn't. Alright. Alright, and let's head for the other side. I still need to pee yet again. Flower! Let me get that flower. I need that flower. I'm gonna need those. Give me, I need lots of these later on, so I might as well get them ahead of time. Alrighty. Let's just keep on climbing. Just kind of go over this cliff. So yeah, <laughs> nothing else to do, just relaxing. You guys can treat this as a podcast if you want. But um, I guess I could say how much you guys day. <laughs> Try to start a conversation or something. Ah, my day has been pretty all right. Just Korok hunting. Okay, that's a terrible commentary. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I suck at starting conversations. I, I really am, to be honest. Because I'm not a very... I'm not a very social person, like, in real life. I really am not. Like, I'm very quiet. Like, shy and very quiet. So, just me commentating the videos in general is a completely different personality. But when it comes to, like, just talking to actual people, I'm... Not very social, like, I'm a very quiet person. So, yeah. But anyways, get rid of that. I'm kind of almost done with Korok hunting. We don't have much left, so that's actually pretty good. We might get done with Korok hunting in this part. Maybe. Also, see more wolves. That's why I destroy you guys for more meat. Alright. And there's another shrine here? Oh, wait, there is. I j yeah, I remember. Awesome. Whoa, okay, there's a bunch of Lizophilus over there. Actually, yeah, I think there is another uh, shrine around this area. Hey, some more shrines! Instead of just Korok hunting in this episode. I'm actually kind of glad because Korok, just doing Korok hunting is just kind of boring. I mean, at least I'm going to do some shrines along the way. Where is this one in, by the way? Is this on top of this pillar? I think it is. Hey, is it on top of this pillar? I don't remember this one. Oh, it is. Huh. Oh, I know where the shrine is at. I know where it's at. Alright, good. Alright. Open this up. Alright. Get this cork out of the way. Alright, and there's another cork along the way over here. Yeah, I, I know where this shrine is at. And thankfully, it's along the way where we're gonna get a core off, so... Yay! Alrighty. Um, yeah, you see that little slab over there? Yeah, there is a shrine hidden underneath that. Uh, before I do head for that shrine, I kind of want to get these Koroks out of the way. Before I do, let's get this Korok over here first. I think I know what this one is. Oh, God. Stamina! Come on. There we go. Oh, this one's easy. Okay, this is just the flower one. Anyways, we have one, two, three, four, and five. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah. Alrighty, got rid of that. Uh, there's one more over here. Uh, actually, I'll get that one later because I think that one's down below a, the canyon area. So let's just get this cork, cork of shrine out of the way, which is funny enough down here. Ooh, there's ores here. I want them ores. Ores! Also, you can kind of tell that it is actually a shrine just based on the music. Like, if you hear this particular music, like, there's different themes for shrines, but this one is actually one of the, one of the shrine themes. Alright, move that out of the way and get down here into the Ka Okyo shrine. Anyways, see you guys inside the shrine. Anyways. Here we are inside the shrine. Uh, we have the wind guy. Oh, this one. Shoot. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is kind of dry. <laughs> but thankfully, this is my last episode. Oh. Um, do I have enough room in my inventory? Yes, I do. Okay, I can grab this. Um, if you do not have a cork leaf, this church has, will actually give you a cork leaf. So, yay! So, in case if you need a cork leaf, which I don't think I don't, but. They give you extra just in case. So, yay. 
All right, so anyways, let's just open this up and that will open the gate. Excuse me, open the gate. Open the gate. There we go. And we have a floating ball, which we're not gonna deal with. All right, anyways, um, we have some mini gardens over here, which we kinda do wanna get rid of. I already took a picture of you guys, which is fine. Get rid of you. Give me your weapon because I'm gonna need them. Actually, I'm ready. One weapon's about to break. Um, I think I could trade that for. Yeah, actually, yeah, I can trade one of my coral leaves. Well, oh, never mind. I'm like, this one's about to break soon. Oh god. Yeah, use the sword. There we go. Ha ha. Take that. Uh, you know what? I might as well just switch one of my coral leaves. I don't need two of them. One of them is good enough. So, because I don't need more weapons. Alright, there we go, because Guardian stores are not that bad. Alright, so anyways, uh, what do we need to do in this shrine? I know we need to use the wind. Uh, let's see, there's a switch here, which we probably need to use a Quark Leaf for that. And that will activate a floating platform. Now, we want to head back over there because there's a little secret, so we'll attack for that. Now, this little mechanic... I was I was thinking of the Wind Waker way. You know how in Wind Waker when you use a Deku Leaf, um, you always want to face the opposite way where you want to go. But in Breath of the Wild, you want to face the direction you want to go if you want to. Um, oh my God, Gold Rupee, nice. Uh, yeah. So basically, it's a little bit different from Wind Waker because normally in Wind Waker you go the opposite direction you want to face to you know um, use the gust of wind. But for some reason. Um, based in the same direction to blow a gust of wind actually takes you to the same direction you're looking at. Or, in this case, throwing a gust of wind into. I mean, it's kind of strange. Because you wouldn't think facing the, the direction that you want to go will propel you back, not forward. But, eh, whatever. Physics, I suppose. Yeah, I'm like, oh my god. Seriously? <laughs> really? Well then. Guess we'll just do this again. Because that thing got out of my way. So yeah, um, if you mess up, you can just reset the platform and just, you know, continue forward. Actually, I think this is the shrine I was thinking of previously. I thought the other shrine was this one. Because they both are wind elemented. Alright, is this the right direction I need to go to? Yes, it is. Alright, so... <clears throat> Got my th <laughs> I need to stop after this. My throat is actually kind of getting dry. Alright, so there's obviously a door there that we need a key for. So we need to open that up. Where is... I don't have any more weapons. Just get this. And destroy you. Oh, wait, there was bombs there too. I could have just blown them up, but whatever. Alright, so we got bomb barrels. I want to stay away from that. <coughs> Alright, so blow that up. And we have an opening. Uh, where does this lead to? Oh, yeah, this. <laughs> this. Alright, so anyway, we want to stand on this. Propel you upwards, but there's a treasure chest that I kind of want to get. Open this up. And we get a forest dweller sword, really? That's kind of random, but okay. I'll actually switch that because I want a powerful weapon. And plus a wedding weapon just in case if we get a thunderstorm. So it'll give me at least some security. Alright, but for right now I just want to use this. Alrighty, uh, let's see. I need to bomb this thing over here because I'm pretty sure this will give us a updraft. So, bomb this, bomb it, and yep, they give us a win. Updraft. Alright, so that gives us that. Um, I guess we need to go on this. I really don't remember the shrine, to be honest. Uh, that doesn't do anything. That just gives us a little lift, which we don't really need. We need to get up top of here. That'll bring us upwards. How many church has are there? I still didn't get all the church up in the shrine, so there's still plenty more. And, oh, this part. <laughs> yeah, now they're making it a little bit difficult. Now there are spikes, and, you know, we're on a balloon, so spikes pop balloons. But before we do... Uh, let's space this way so I can get this turret chest here. Oh god, Link, don't fall. Oh, good cheese. Alright, open this up, and we have a giant ancient core. Awesome. 
Um, well, I guess I have no choice but to actually kind of go back again. Alrighty. Okay. Alright, let's go back up. And let's actually traverse through this this <laughs> terrible minefield in a way. Alright, so uh, let's go this way and hopefully not pop our balloons. Oh, go this way, please. Don't pop the balloons! Oh, jeez. Abandon ship! <laughs> Abandon ship! Alright, uh, do I have all the treasure chests? No, I still don't. What does this do? Still bring me upwards. Uh, where does this bring me exactly? Oh, this area. This area is a little bit interesting. Um, there are a lot of bubble walls. And you can actually, you know what? You can actually just use bomb arrows to hit this. So we're gonna do just that. We have plenty of bomb arrows, so I think it's kind of alright. Oh, shoot, that's fire arrows. Oops. <laughs> Honestly, I had that mistake, but. That's for a later on for the spoilers, but yeah, I actually have a, like a funny story with dealing with fire and bomb arrows being mixed up. But yeah, anyways, we bombed the whole thing, so now we can get through. Alright. Okay, let's just bring this upwards so that we can get a little bit of air time. And I see the last church chest. I think that's the last one. No, I think there's one more after that. <laughs> there's a lot of church chests in this shrine, by the way. Alright, let's see what's inside here. And we have ourselves a small key, so that's exactly what we need. Alright, so I think we're... Yeah, there's one more church that's in this shrine. But let's go down here because this is pretty much our exit. Uh, before you drop down, there's a church that's down there that you kind of want to get. I believe it's a weapon, if I'm not mistaken. So I might have to clear some room. Um, let's just maybe get rid of that. And let's see what's inside. And we get ourselves a th ooh a thunder spear. I don't remember if we have a thunder spear or not, but I will trade that in. All right, awesome. I don't think we had a thunder spear before. Um, I think I might want to picture that because I don't remember if we did. Uh, let me check. If we don't, no, we haven't. Okay, that, I, I was right. Let's just nope. Get our thunder spear, you know, captured. All right, there we go. Nice! I like our little weapon assortments here. We got lots of these Dragon Ball and Moblin clubs, which are really powerful. Alright, so anyways, yay! We cleared a shrine! Yay, we did something in this episode besides Korra hunting. Well, that shrine quest that I was talking about, nah, I, maybe we might? Nah. I'm kind of debating if I should do it or not, because I'm not sure if it's a blessing shrine or a shrine shrine, but... If we don't do it, that's fine. I could probably do it in the next episode. Because I don't think I just want to focus on shrimp. Just focus on um, Korra hunting. And I'm kind of talking in the little screen, so this is not going to cut out. Because <laughs> I'm just blabbing on. But yeah, right now we have 212 Korra, so we're two ninths there of the goal of getting 900 Korra, even though the reward is kind of pointless. But you know me, I still go after these things regardless. Alright, so we do have a Korok down there. I think we should be able to finish Korok cutting in this episode. So, yeah, we're pretty much kind of nearing the end. Like I said, there's not that very many. Alright, so we need to go down here. So, let's do this that. And there's a lot of climbing in those canyons or mountains. We're gonna do that later on. Not right now, but it's gonna be something that we'll explore soon. And I'm kind of dreading it because I don't like... Lots of climbing, to be honest. But whatever it is, Breath of the Wild, can't do anything about it. Uh, oh, restroom. Give me that. I want the restroom. Uh, I don't remember this area, to be honest. And oh, that area is glowing. Yeah, we see that area glow many times, but I, have, I still haven't reached that area yet. But at some point, I will. Soon, just not right now. Hello, and goodbye. Go away. There we go. You have a nice bow. Yes, I will trade that in because this bow is weaker. So I will trade that in. Alright, where is this? <gasps> General! Hello! General, General, General! Okay, um, hold on. Wait a second. Let me check my thing. How many? 
I don't think I have horns of Dinral. I need one more from him. He is coming this way too. I need to change my bow to a frantic bow, which by the way, I forgot to mention, um, one of the treasure chests that I got, um, I got a frantic bow, which does 20, or 10 plus damage, so it does 20 now. Alright. Okay, I need to... What the heck, game? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh, the power went out, guys. Be right back. Okay, I am back, guys. So, uh, funny thing, the power went out. It wasn't my Wii U this time, the power actually went out. So, unfortunately, General's not- Wait, General's still here! Oh, yes! And who is shooting at me? Oh, you are. Um, uh, buddy, I don't want you to shoot me. Hey, it's the same with Alphals. And also, I see Ore Disposit, which I kind of want to get. Nope. Leave me alone. Okay, so... <laughs> I do want to get dinner, although. Dinner is on his way, so before I do, um, I want to switch my weapons before he comes here because I want the ore disposal as well. I don't have anything. Crap. Um, um, um. Shoot, I don't have anything. Um, well, I'm gonna bomb this, I suppose. That's the only thing I can do. Bombs away! Okay. A lot of things are flying about. Okay, he is coming. I want his stuff. Topaz, no. Get back here. Alright, so here's dinner yet again for the second time. Alright, I kind of want to just shoot him from afar, so, well, actually, no, that's kind of a bad idea. Come here, General, I want your th horn. Gotcha! Ha-ha! Give me your horn. Where is he going? Where is he going? Intro. Oh, wow, that's convenient. <laughs> Good. Yay! Don't <laughs> let the power go out this time. Also, alright, so we actually didn't get the shrine. Oh, Korok, I mean. Yay! Okay, I'm happy, thankfully. But no, that was very random. I don't know why the power went out. It just was suddenly very random. Like, it only went out for a minute, but still, it was just very random. Alright, get rid of these wolves, because I don't want you guys dealing with me right now. But yeah, I, thankfully, this game has autosave, so that's one good thing about autosave in a game, is just in case something like that happens. So, I pretty much, my last autosave was the completing of the shrine, so. Thankfully, I did lose a lot of progress. <coughs> but, um, yeah, anyways, uh, we're almost done with cork hunting, but I think we're probably not going to finish it in this episode because of that. Well, fiasco, but we'll see. Alright, so, cork's over here. I'm not going to bother with enemy camp because I just kind of want to get done with cork hunting. So, yeah. Alright, get that out of the way. <coughs> yeah, ha ha! Alright, there's a few more crops along the way, so I just, I guess we'll just finish this up. I mean, we're kind of running a little bit long in this episode because, well, we're on like 20, almost 30 minutes, so I think I could go up for just a tiny bit longer. Not too long, because I don't want to make this too long, but yeah, and I'm still talking throughout this loading screen. <laughs> I should be cutting this out, but, oh well, I just got a few minutes left. Uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to finish Korra cutting this episode. So, yeah, instead we're just probably just gonna, I guess, stop it for now. Because, just in case, uh, the power goes out yet again, so I don't want that to happen. Alright, um, before I do, though, um, there is a core down here, which, honestly, I think I know what this one is. Because I was looking for this one before when we got this tower, but it's actually, like, right down here, I think. Right? Yep, it's down here where there's enemies here. So, uh, first of all, let me just shoot this. Actually, can I just throw that with a bomb? I think I can. I think I can. Let me see. Test that out. Well, I can just bomb these guys. That works too. Yep, it destroys that. Aha! Yeah, you know what? Since we have bombs now, might as well just destroy these guys with bombs. Yeah, you can just keep shooting me. That's fine. I'm just gonna keep bombing you. Yeah, I could do this all day. <laughs> I could do this all day. I mean, it's slow, but hey, it's less danger. I could just do this. Hello. Destroy that black moblin. Yeah, I think this will be the last cork for now until the next episode. We'll definitely finish the uh, cork hunting and then head on to our next area. And that moblin or bokoba just being bombed. 
Thankfully, the bombs recharge fast, so I don't have to worry too much about waiting. I can just switch over to, you know, different bombs. But this is actually very effective. Okay, he's almost down though, so that's good. Hey, you're just thinking switching. And he's down, alright. I can grab your stuff. I mean, you want to throw arrows at me? Go right ahead. I can grab for some arrows. Come on. Okay, fine. You screw you. You suck. You're standing in malice and I can't even get you. Yeah, if you stand in malice, they will hurt you. So don't stand on it too long, which I stupidly did, but whatever. Um, I have a spike moblin club. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch that. Oh, actually, it's not very... Eh, whatever. I'll still keep it. I'll still keep it. <laughs> um, but anyways, oh, we have a different weapon here too. I actually kind of want to switch this over with that. But I do need a sledgehammer. But yeah, anyways, guys, I think that's it for car content. I thought we were going to get it done, but because of that power issue thing, it kind of threw me off a bit. So I kind of just want to stop it before anything happens. But I mean, we're pretty much done with car content. We just got a few left, but along the way, we'll get a shrine quest out of the way. So, yay! And then we'll head to this area up here, which is uh, the big area, which I'm not looking forward to. But we'll head to that area in the next part. So um, in the meantime, I'm going to go back to the tower, and then we'll call an episode there. So next time on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, um, we're going to do Shrine Quest, finish up core hunting, and possibly head, our, head to the next area, which is pretty much like up north. So yay, new area. And it will have my favorite mini game. But yeah. Anyways, I will see you guys then. So, this is Chibi Scavenge saying, 